Hi, welcome to a new video dedicated to a new video platform. This is the Walker Vitus 320 and is nothing else that's a direct competitor of the DJI Mavic Pro. So you can find more or less the same type of ingredient, a very compact three axis uh, gimbal, including a camera able to shoot videos and 4K at 30 frames per second. Uh, you can find spread uh, in the most front and lateral side some obstacle avoidance sensors and uh, also it's including a lot of new advanced technologies for example some deep learning algorithm for uh, tracking and to uh, perform some uh, gesture uh, recognition so uh, it's compact and uh, should uh, weight under one kilo so uh, should be okay for most of our country uh, without any registration it comes in RTF with uh, this uh, radio this is a new model compact also mimicking the uh, uh, DJI Mavic, uh, the Devo F8S, and as uh, the recent uh, for the recent Walkera product, two applications are uh, available and uh, must be associated with. One more for entertainment. Uh, this is the uh, Walkera Go, where you can enjoy some virtual reality uh, extended games. Okay, where you have to fly your uh, machines through some virtual. Uh, gates and so on, etc., or to shoot some uh, uh, virtual um, spacecraft, okay, to, to shoot them and more for, uh, I would say, visual uh, planning. Uh, this is the Walker drone. Uh, be aware that actually only the iOS version is finalized and the Android is only in beta version. Uh, so it should come in the beginning of September officially. So let's uh, the discover and uh, this first part will be more dedicated to the unboxing and to the setting especially for the android device and the fix to apply also the our firmware update already available and the um, well the discovering of the uh, main application okay so let's open the box and as usual we have a very nice packaging from walkera where uh, you will be able to find the uh, Vitus logo, okay, in the uh, form element. So, in the first, you have an instruction manual already pre opened the uh, box where uh, you will have the uh, instruction manual uh, version 1.0. Online, there is already the version 1.1, okay. So, you can find the main, main characteristics of the machine, okay. I will describe it. For instance, so for the GPS, we have a GPS GLONASS B system, okay, it should improve a little bit the accuracy. The role of each button and so on, and the main characteristics are here. For example, the uh, flight time is announced to be about 22 minutes, we check in practice, and the motor some 28 type. Um, and the uh, camera, uh, Sony, with answered uh, 3 inch CMOS, okay. Uh, 12 megapixel, the field of view of 85 degrees, so we shouldn't emit some uh, uh, fisheye effects. That's a good point. Uh, is the uh, ISOSCOP between 100 to 12,800. Okay, the is shutter and the uh, photo resolution uh, more than 4,000 by 3,000, and the record resolution, as you can see, is 30 frames per second for the uh, 4K and 60 for the 10 ATP. Uh, a micro SD card up to 64 megabytes can be inserted, formatted either on FAT 32 or XFAT if you need more than uh, 32 gigabytes, I guess. Recorded format MP4 and JPEG for the photos, uh, that's uh, right. And the uh, weight is announced to be close to 890 grams. Okay, so you have the main application. Uh, interface of the two are uh, software, two application, the uh, work region, the more interesting, well, the more complete, and the more for entertainment, the uh, worker I go. How to uh, install the uh, tablet one, etc. So, more complete. Okay, and uh, FCC warning page, and so on. So, let's discover, let's start with the uh, radio. Okay, 
Uh, sorry for my uh, bandage and the figure. I'm doing some concrete for my garden and burn my extremity of the finger. It's not very beautiful. Sorry for that. So here is the new radio, Walker Radio, the F8S, mimicking the RJJ uh, Mavic. <laughs> Let's give a uh, wait. There is a built in battery. Okay. Not so heavy, but uh, already about uh, 370 grams, not so bad. So it's compact, uh, but the gimbal are nice, with nice uh, spring effect. Okay, so main power button. You will have to hold on more than three seconds to power. You have either manual flight, auto, with full assisted, or in sport. Well, it's all, there is also some assistance in the sport mode. Altitude hold at least, and but the speed have been increased to from five meter per second to up to 10, so much faster uh, some uh, button to trigger uh, the photos and so on and uh, on the lateral side you have the main power connector on the rear side a main fan and here important uh, the uh, SSIDs and the uh, last six digits is your uh, ID of your machine and the default password to connect one two three four five six seven eight nine and zero okay uh, Nothing else, okay, you don't find, for example, a USB port. It, w what is it? It's amazing. So it means that uh, for this uh, radio command work, radio command working in 5.8 gigahertz, no USB tethering is possible. Wow, what a shame. So if you meet some problem with some special Android device, and it was the case for the Walker uh, Ego, uh, you can be in big trouble. So. Uh, let's continue. We have this kind of antenna, foidable. Okay, we are the real antenna here. And thanks to that uh, system, you can attach, uh, also include a phone um, order, a f tablet extender like this, more or less. So, and you you will need to release something like this, and you will be able to attach your um, your phone uh, for the, more or less like this. Okay your your tablet you just need to clips and you will be able to attach a tablet up to eight inch i regret it's not possible for a 10 inch large model it's a drawback okay so um when you turn on it you have this uh, blue light and the uh level of battery should be indicated here three red points is mean it's full charge well there is a progression bar also this lead Lights are used to um, indicate the uh, battery and built in battery charging, okay, uh, up to three bar for 100%. So the fan is a little bit noisy, probably you can hear, so a little bit annoying. Anyway, it's like this. I forgot to mention there is a near phone um, plug here, okay, uh, it's not an USB, and uh, also very important, you have two uh, uh, gimbal control. Okay, this is uh, you can control the right, the left. Well, if you hold it uh, normally, the left is to control the pitch. Okay, and the right actually is said to control the exposure of the camera. Okay, no tilt uh, or pan. Uh, okay, so um, maybe it can be assigned in the interface in the future update. So let's turn off the radio. You have to long press. Then you hear the beep and it stopped. Okay, so um, what came next? We have so the tablet extender up to eight inch. We have a set of two spare props. Okay, let's open this one. Probably already touched them. So um, they are uh, like more <laughs> similar to some helicopter. Uh, okay. They are foldable and they are very thin, okay, and uh, uh, wow, I'm afraid that uh, how it's possible, they're so flexible, they don't look super uh, strong, okay, for a 900 gram machine, so it's amazing. Uh, it's not a carbon, it's a plastic, I uh, hope they won't break in flight, okay, it's a, it could be a nightmare, okay, and um, they are relatively uh, uh, small. But I can give you the half measurement uh, to give you an indication. So 
uh, the half diameter is about sorry something about 94 okay and uh, well um, I'm not super confident and if you touch it they seem to be so thin it could be very cutty very uh, dangerous okay so wow be aware of that and uh, what came next in the bundle we have uh, the charger more or less the same time than the IO uh, worker uh, uh, iBot so it used to charge both the uh, uh, drone carpenter battery as well the radio transmitter so you have two different external plug output plug you have this one for the transmitter okay like this and uh, this one for the uh, battery you have to raise the uh, small uh, cover and you have this uh, connector i don't know how many pins seems to be have eight well you will be able to recharge the battery okay and it's a um, power unit um, 13 volt at input up to 1.6 ampere okay so strong enough um, what came next we have the associated cable for the power uh, charger okay so this is a power plug okay and uh, you will need for your open a European socket adapter okay or American one and you will be ready to uh, recharge your battery so what came next um, without without skid landing damping mat so to uh, probably uh, uh, soft sample a little bit the landing we have two um, dampening balls for the uh, three-axis uh, camera gimbal so it's good okay um, we have some allen key okay to remove some element uh, a USB uh, uh, cable to micro USB and voila so now it's time to discover a little bit the uh, um, drone by itself okay so then first feeling is not light okay and let's give you an indication immediately of the weight so I will remove uh, to be fair the uh, gimbal uh, 3x gimbal uh, holding okay so you just need to unclip it well, super light but uh, 7 gram but can buy the measurement so we have um, Oh, it's not possible. Nine hundred uh, three, nine hundred. Okay, so a little bit more than nine hundred nine hundred grams. Okay, think. Okay, nine hundred six gram. Okay, I hope you can read. So, um it means that for, for you will almost need some registration for a lot of countries especially with the new announced law uh, for example for france there will be a limitation for 800 grams so this one won't pass without any registration uh it's life but anyway uh, so it probably a little bit more ever than the dj mavic uh, which is uh, uh close to 800 grams if i'm not more so uh, close to 12 percent more Okay, so let's discover the machine. We have the three axis gimbal. Okay, uh, look pretty nice, but the plastic quality is a general feeling that the plastic is well good, but not exceptional. You know, is uh, you know, it's this kind of hard plastic. It's not flexible, uh, not matte. Okay, so um, I think the quality of the plastic is not uh, impressive. Okay, it's not. Um, rubbish don't be uh, wrong but uh, okay we have some little metal bar at least some metallic part okay but we can see the three axes not so bad first uh, sensor and then infrared and the um, ultrasonic okay so we we have always this couple one one is more transparent one more red so this one should be the infrared this one um, I guess more optical okay so one is front for uh, uh, detect uh, 
avoidance object for the front part. Let's unfold the machine. So we start with the front. Okay, the rear three, front. So the same, so we start with the rear, then with the front, okay. And we have the unfolded machine. Look uh, good and uh, well, the arms, I confirm, the plastic of the arm is not amazing. So uh, it means that the first crash, your machine will be destroyed for sure. Okay, it's not uh, super, uh, I don't know, I don't have a super feeling. Okay, uh, especially look the landing gear system. This plastic is so tiny. Okay, I think you can add this um, uh, piece of rubber band. Uh, it was in the spare bag, but uh, I don't feel it's super so solid, okay? So this part will break after a moderate um, uh, hard landing, I will say. So at least you can unfoil it to obtain a ground clearance to not the uh, uh, gimbal system enter in contact with the ground, okay? So on the lateral side, we have another system and it's symmetric to it. We have here this one. So it means that at least for uh, the first two quadrant for the front, okay, with a radius of uh, uh, 100 degrees, 184 degrees, at least for the front, the uh, object detection avoidance can be done. No problem, but I think the machine will be blind from uh, something about, um, uh, I will say, uh, the last, uh, I will say, okay, is okay for up to 180 let's say 200 degrees but for the remaining 160 degrees of the machine will be blind okay at least in the horizontal plane um, for the bottom side we have the same too infrared and the transparent as well more um, small camera for visual positioning okay so an, another extra sensor for optimize little bit the assistance of the height height stabilization a fan okay and here the uh, famous dampening ball they give some spare one of this one so uh, on the left side no specific uh, information okay and on the right well, well it was in fact on the left uh, we can find the um, micro usb here port to uh, update firmware and to connect to the uh, ground station software, a very tiny reset, reset button. Here we can find a micro SD slot where already inserted a 32 gigabyte class 10 uh, micro SD card and I have one with at least 20 uh, megabytes of writing speed because uh, you, you need a, a very good one okay, to save all the uh, uh, videos and uh, very easily just need to press lateral this one and this one simultaneously and you can release exit the battery so we can find the connector and we have the battery okay uh, it's a 3s uh, lion model it's not a lipo so only 11.4 volt okay it's a uh, 5200 milliamps powers uh, and also for 22 uh, minutes of flight time uh, in the other instruction it was written 27 so maybe they are uh, more realistic in their <laughs> advertising you can if you short press on it long press sorry you have a remaining battery or level display for bar for the charge okay and uh, should dissipate or you should press again to uh, stop it okay to remove it so uh, seems to be a good battery we will see and uh, you will need this uh, connector okay i showed in last time uh, to uh, recharge it okay so um to con conclude uh, i'm not impressed by the plastic quality a little bit heavy okay but uh, we have a, a lot of uh, sensor to avoid at least obstacle from uh, the main 200 degrees front from bottom side but nothing from up okay at least it's not super important you won't uh, meet a meteor or on the rear side okay nothing uh, you cannot avoid if you make a backward movement you won't be able be notice that the uh, ob uh, object detection and uh, obstacle avoidance is only available in um, auto mode in gps assistance uh, in sport mode is not available so be aware okay um so um 
Now it's time to try to uh, connect this machine. Uh, and uh, since uh, there is no USB uh, tethering, it will be only by the uh, Wi Fi connection. So uh, remember for the uh, Wikera um, iBot, um, a lot of Android users uh, met some problems, uh, mainly because uh, they use a 5 or 5.8 years Wi Fi uh, uh, connection. And um, this uh, band, okay, in this norm in the uh, uh, AEEE, uh, uh, is uh, in fact um, not uh, common for all the countries. It depends on the uh, local regulation of the uh, frequency, okay. So it means that uh, the, uh, these uh, bands are divided in sub channels, and according to your area, uh, some channels are, are working with your local. Uh, devices okay and some are not allowed and um, for most of android uh, devices are uh, paradoxically uh, google uh, respect the uh, regulation local regulation so ban from uh, your phone or smartphone uh, some uh, channel and in fact uh, be aware because the wall camera at least where i banggood provide me is probably specialized for the China market and uh, actually broadcast this 5.8 gigahertz on a specific channel that is in practice not so visible uh, for most of Android users in the non-Chinese uh, countries. So uh, uh, I will say there is no problem uh, with um, all iPhone from 5 or 6, okay? Uh, this uh, ship, I don't know, you can see uh, this uh, Chinese 5.8 uh, gears Wi-Fi. Maybe because Apple is not respecting uh, the regulation, local regulation, they don't care. So they open all the uh, channels or <laughs> something like this, I don't know. But anyway, uh, for uh, Android, you can and uh, for most uh, will meet some problem, okay? Except if you have a, a really Chinese Android phone bought in China or some stuff like this. But if you have an FCC, uh, you may meet some problems. So uh, I want to analyze this problem and I will show how to fix it. Okay, so let's continue with more of the uh, Wi-Fi connection. Okay, so first things to do is to download all the different applications. So we show for Android and uh, well, uh, as you already know, uh, the official release of the Android version is not yet available. Anyway, there is a beta version, actually the 1.1.1, if I'm not wrong. So uh, you will have to go to the internet and go to the Wildcara, okay, on pages. Uh, click on Draw and choose the iBow, okay. And uh, then uh, you will go to these web pages and go to the download section associated with okay and then you have the uh, worker drone because they are unifying all the application for all their three drones you can download this one as a beta version so go to download and uh, you have the uh, google play store uh, link because it's not yet visible uh, from a uh, Google Play. So you have to download it and as is written, it should be unified for iBio, Vitus, Voyager 4 and 5. Okay. Um, the other software, so you can back, uh, can be downloaded directly from the Vitus uh, uh, panel. Okay. And um, go to the download section. And here you can download the entertainment uh, worker ago. Okay, here download, and you will obtain the right pages. Actually, this is a version uh, 1.3.1. Okay, far to be perfect, to be honest. And uh, anyway, uh, there are also some very important uh, elements you can find. There is a PC software, the Worker Assistant 1.0.4. I actually available for uh, 64. Windows uh, system or 32 and uh, this software will allow you to um, do some uh, basic settings calibrate your both of the quad capture uh, accelerometer as well as the gimbal so super important and more you will be able to flash new uh, firmware with
So uh, super important to download it. Okay, you click here and you install on a PC software. You have also the last version of the uh, user manual. What I will do, uh, okay, is um, to show that uh, this is a Galaxy uh, Tab S2, okay, uh, five hundred dollars model, some stuff like this, and. Um, if you buy a uh, device without paying attention of your local area settings and the uh, 500 gear channel mapping, you can have some problems. So I will power the transmitter, okay? And in theory, uh, after a couple of seconds, the Wi-Fi um, should be uh, up and uh, available for uh, be detected for uh, Wi-Fi scanning from my tablet. So I will go to settings and as you can see actually I see a list of uh, devices most of them working in 2.4 but um, this uh, tablet is able uh, to uh, broadcast any Wi-Fi source even in 5 it's supporting uh, 802.11a, b, g, n, a, c, and so on. So, as you can see, nothing, nothing up here. So it's invisible, like the eyebrow. So, how to proceed? Um, either you install, uh, you root your tablet, your smartphone, etc. You install uh, a corresponding um, ROM, freeing the uh, Chinese channels, but there is another solution. And for this, you will need a device at least working with this uh, special i5 that is yours. I said most of uh, iPhone, uh, i tablets, iPad tablets, uh, recent one will work, or some PC, uh, okay, some laptop, sh modern one should work. Uh, borrow one from one friend, you just need it two minutes to fix this uh, problem and then after I will be able to, you will be able to use your uh, tablet or smartphone as usual, okay? So, uh, I will do that and then uh, I will show, I will use a PC software or laptop and I uh, will show you how, how it's working. So let's fix uh, this Android uh, non-visible uh, Wi-Fi, okay? Uh, Let's go. Okay, so let's try to uh, figure out how to uh, fix that. First, uh, I will use this uh, laptop. This is a ZenBook uh, Z3, if I'm not wrong. And I will turn on the transmitter. So after a couple of seconds, um, the um, on this uh, laptop, I don't know why, uh, the uh, channel is visible and I will be able at least to uh, have retrieve some information. So let's uh, have a look to the available uh, devices visible from the uh, Wi-Fi scanning and good news. Okay, the worker for this uh, laptop is visible. So I'm sure you can find a computer around you where uh, we'll be able to at least to be seen and you just need it two minutes. Let's connect on it, okay? And the default password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, okay? I will press connect. Take a couple of seconds, but it's okay. Then uh, I will use this software, which is acrylic Wi-Fi free software. Are uh, able to give some information about occupied channel. So time to analyze uh, the uh, uh, system. And you can find that the Warcara, okay, the uh, ground 000297 is broadcasting in the channel 161, okay, in um, a norm A, okay, so it's normal, so the 5 gigahertz band is also included in the norm A. 
at very moderate uh, speed, it's very slow in my point of view. Anyway, so maybe we'll be able to uh, optimize for just that. So um, if you take a brother, okay, and in the list of uh, the uh, Wikipedia uh, channel, and there, especially in the bottom part dedicated to the five years, so the A, H, G, N, A, C, for example, a lot of different norms. You can see that the 61 is here and should work in theory in the uh, United States, in Europe, but there were some asterisks, okay, and also in Russia, but not in Japan. And uh, should work in uh, China as well. This is why they use it, but there are some asterisks here, okay, for Europe and uh, Switzerland. So I don't know, maybe some restriction limitation. So, um, for example, what is known that there is a band used to works everywhere almost from China, etc., Japan, etc. This is a channel 36. So what you will have to do is to go open the browser and type this address 192.168.1.2 only after connection okay to the uh, point. You are refresh, and if you click on the network radio on the left column, you will have two columns, radio 1 and radio 2. The radio 2 is associated with the 5 GHz specialized connection, and it's not the case. Uh, in fact, we are using the uh, EEEE uh, 80211A protocol, well, and this one got some 5 GHz Band, uh, frequency, it's a strange mixture. Anyway, it's more associated with the radio 1 with 2.4 GHz reference. And we can find our famous 161 channel we see, we saw in the scanning. So the trick is just to replace it to 36. Okay, press save. Okay. And we can also select some mode, so some better optimization can be done, I think, in the future, so if you want to increase your FPV uh, range with the Vitus, some stuff like this, I'm sure we can play with this option in the future, but I won't play it. Just replace the channel from 161 to 36. I will reboot the router, and after a couple of seconds, these web pages will disappear. Okay. It's normal because the link is down. Then you can turn off the radio. Okay. Turn on it again. Press on the power button more than three seconds. Wait a couple of seconds that the uh, internal router access point will be a wake up and we we have to return to the uh, scanning Wi-Fi detection uh, devices and look that good news we didn't lost it okay I will and now let's check on our tablet Okay, and let's go to the settings. And good news, look at that. We have the worker background available. So you can just type the password one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And click on connect. And we are connecting, it's great. So now we are able to uh, see how the application we are able to. Uh, use our writers and this trick is also working with the uh, worker uh, iBot that's great so let's continue uh, the application discovery okay so let's just a little bit the application now we are able to connect so I will um, turn on the transmitter and turn on the quadcopter log press more than three seconds for inch you have the ESC hub budding, the uh, gimbal 
now is more or less uh, stabilized as you can see here okay so we have the three axes and slowly but surely return to the nominal so uh, let's go to the settings and after a couple of seconds after our Android fix we are able to connect I will connect okay and then I will run the software actually in beta version not the final one they are missing the add and set uh, gesture recognition okay and follow me for example in the actual beta but it's working for iOS and don't be wrong so we are running this uh, software we have some settings actually okay all the ip version one and one etc but let's go to the device you can select either the ibao or devices there is also the voyager okay but we select the uh, uh, vitus and go to connect and did it in we have the applications so we have a lot of information and we have a general time lapse on top very very useful okay uh, it's indicating uh, the remaining level of battery uh, you can uh, still fly and uh, the actual time when when the H is returned to home and in emergency two person is uh, the auto landing so it's very short so this one is can be adjusted all this value can be adjusted in the option so I will uh, describe a little bit the interface connected uh, here you have a time when it will be uh, uh, okay when I will press recording on the uh, uh, transmitter I will be able to uh, take a, a photo to start or actually you are in a photo mode but if you press on the slider you can go to the uh, uh, camera mode okay where if you press on it you can start the recording and you have a time lapse here okay so two time lapse one for the flight one for recording we are in gps mode according to the radio we are no two and different available so i am indoors so no gps is received 87 percent this is the strength level strength of the link between the radio and the quadcopter well the uh, fpv feedback uh, strength also very good the remaining level of battery we have here a google map okay where i am you can go between okay that's great an auto takeoff i won't do it of course indoors a return to home and the different flight mode and i said actually uh, only one and it's written in chinese so i understand nothing but this is a basic flight mode a normal one so no follow me or etc et we have some uh, telemetry information distance to the home maximum height horizontal speed vertical speed okay and actually we have in optical flow position so we have um where the videos are recorded actually not no none are recorded okay and uh we have here the uh settings of the uh camera where uh we will be able to play with the exposure don't forget we have the uh, uh, right gel to select it the ISO the EV etc for the uh, preview size okay we can change a lot of things uh, 720p but we can select um, sorry uh, either 1080p or 720p for the uh, uh, preview okay so it's up to you so it depends on the quality of the link okay and select it we can do the same for the for preview uh, rate so we can select uh, 2 megapixel or 4 megapixel so I guess it will open more uh, uh, channels record size okay we have 30 frame in 4k or uh, 180p in 30 frame or 1080, 1080p in 60 frame per second um, the record uh, the record rate we are at maximum for the quality great and the pre preview codec only one choice so no problem for the other we can actually uh, decide it to display a grid or not so what type of grid you want or not okay this one the point is up to you 
okay none and anti-flicker can be turned on on auto or it could be a very useful so uh, I will turn on, on autos okay you can format the SD card maybe it's better to uh, to optimize the performances okay and uh, nothing else so we have this is a uh, settings for the uh, camera but we have general settings up by pressing on top right we have the unit the map okay show airlines if you want offline but it's written in Chinese so understand nothing so probably you can download before your flight if you don't have any um, connection uh, firmware update and as you can see there are some update flight controller actually 1.20 there are some update and the PTZ also the uh, gimbal there are some update um, but it's not from here we have to uh, download okay but it's not uh, from here we have a second panel if you want to turn on the geofence and the altitude limit 50 meters so we can probably uh, go uh, further okay so we will enter uh, oh, well, as you can see it's written in Chinese uh, I don't know which one is okay uh, I see no uh, let's say it's 125 okay and uh, return to um, 8 so 25 meters okay and the sensors you can calibrate the gyroscope here the compass and the accelerometers so that's great so be sure before the first state flight to uh, do this uh, calibration uh, in the second part i will show etc for the radio you can select you can select some rates okay it's up to you how more linear more aggressive and for each channel elevator rather so you can uh, try to be zero. okay for each channel is, is great individual stick mode Japanese or American I am in American the RF okay and SSID broadcasted so no problem the gimbal um, we can uh, uh, adjust the uh, a roll so if you meet see that in the horizon the uh, gimbal is not perfect aligned horizontally you can adjust apply a bias here and you can also perform the compass calibration okay so uh, also it's good to perform it before the first flight if you want meet to have the best uh, quality the uh, battery and you can press to show voltage okay somewhere okay and um, the over low power limit is super slow so i will increase the low power to at least 10 percent and the uh, overall to uh, something about six or six percent okay to be sure and um voila so we make a tour of the main application so we can uh, disconnect it okay I, okay and we can disconnect you are need to slide to really exit the airframe application uh, we can discover also the other application which is a worker ago more or less the same type so we will select the uh, Vitus 320 the final version and press ok and we have the different uh, okay so he said is not okay with the uh, Oh, you had to stop my screen saver, but try to connect, but it's not working. So, it's a basic uh, real, re reality augmented uh, games. Uh, I don't think uh, you will buy the Vitus for such features, but anyway, it's possible that we try to make a demo uh, in the second part. So now everything is solved. Uh, it's time to perform all the compass calibration, etc. Gyros, the gimbal, and to start the flight. 
but before I want to show you how to upgrade uh, with the PC software uh, the uh, actually flight controller firmware and the gimbal to have the best result we can have with this machine. Okay, so it's time to uh, have a look to the uh, work area system. Actual version is 1.04. Uh, 460 byte version for my Windows. So um, you will need to at least install the runtime associated with here, the distribution for Visual Studio 2015. Okay, and then um, you will need first to turn on the radio. Okay, and the quadcopter. So if everything is okay, um, there is a, a bind because the uh, work error is no more babbling, beeping. So it means that the bind is correctly done. I will connect the, uh, uh, I will run the, the uh, work error assistant software. Okay, and is uh, waiting for USB. So now I will plug the USB uh, cable and the micro USB uh, to the work era. So now I'm connected to my PC and -da -da. okay, so it's recognizing everything of Vitus. So I've got a firmware version 1.2.1. I can read the correct voltage. Okay, and as you can see, I can play also with the different uh, stick elements as well. I won't press the takeoff, etc. But uh, so we have the dial behind, etc. So we have the exact uh, estimation of the uh, calibration, okay, and pitch and roll and so on, okay. So what we can do in this interface, we can calibrate uh, the uh, uh, gyroscope or the uh, accelerator also, and we can also calibrate everything from the gimbal and. Uh, is written please keep aircraft static and level still and then keep calibrate so if you meet some problem uh, with your gimbal is not perfectly horizontally aligned and so on or some vibration you should you have to perform this calibration and we have also some uh, parameters so uh, actual the uh, return to eight uh, uh, altitude so it's strange because it's in uh, not the same value than the uh, uh, application so which one is uh, take into account, uh, I don't know, but uh, um, it's uh, very high, so uh, uh, probably we need to modify, and we have the radius also, so we can change its value, and the more important is the firmware update, so actually you can see that uh, I got the version 1.21, and there is the 1.22, so I will press click here, and it's upgrading. There is no specific light, uh, okay, during on the quad capture during this operation. A great success, firmware will be used when reboot. Okay, so um, I will also uh, upgrade uh, the gimbal firmware. If it's okay. and seems to be stuck okay mm -hmm. a great fade please okay so uh, it didn't did anything so i will reboot okay i will stop the uh, quadcopter okay 
I will reboot the disconnect the USB. I will return on. Okay. And now it's waiting the USB connection. I will do it. Okay, now the firmware version is 1.2.2 since correct. And let's go to the firmware update. And let's check for the gimbal now online. Ah, now it's working fine. So probably you need first to reboot for uh, the application of the uh, uh, flight controller firmware and so on. But anyway, I will have the last uh, firmware version installed. Okay, and I guess I will need one more time to reboot of the uh, PC of the quadcopter. So we'll turn off the uh, quadcopter, disconnect USB, return on the quadcopter. I can see the uh, gimbal level. Reconnect. Okay. And let's check the firmware. We have everything up to date. That's great. So, uh, to be sure, and everything will be okay, be sure to perform the uh, calibration. So, I install the uh, device on the flat surface. Okay. I will calibrate. For example, the accelerometers. And I think with this uh, uh, procedure, you will have to uh, move your machine in six different positions. So I will quit. I will perform much more of the uh, gyroscope calibration. So, okay, I will calibrate. Okay, that's great. Uh, I will also apply a level. Okay, it's leveled now. So everything sounds okay, and uh, the compass must be done. So uh, this is a classic procedure from um, Warcara, but I hope uh, and I think it will be possible to do it also with the application in the field. Okay, because you don't have a PC close to you, so both uh, calibration procedures uh, can be done also in the field. The gimbal calibration procedure is a very important step if you want to have uh, the best result in your uh, video shooting. So um, it can be done via the uh, Walkera uh, application. Okay, as I showed in, uh, recently. So as you can see, it's not perfectly uh, level. Okay. Uh, of course, you can play with also to correct the uh, uh, bias, the uh, LO roll adjustment. As you can see, so you can also a bit optimize, but generally, in they serve to have a perfect calibration. So, uh, use a small tools about uh, some stuff about 15 millimeters. This is a ground current between the, uh, I would say the uh, the ground with the uh, top of the motors, okay, of the uh, game belt. So. Uh, just need to press compass calibration and just follow the instruction. So uh, start the plus level horizontally and click start calibration. As you can see, the motor start to be poured, so the gimbal felt into the uh, nominal uh, position. Click start. Okay. To keep uh, to keep click next to keep the gimbal level. So I will use this small. I would say a small element to keep. Uh, you have to play with the three axes, okay? So the most uh, horizontally. I will try to. Oh, it sounds not bad. Mm, for the three axes, then I, I will click next. Okay, keep the gimbal centered and click next. Okay, and uh, it's calibrated now, it report, okay, everything. So, um, Let's check. It sounds to be horizontal. 
Okay. Uh, so the sounds are pretty good, and we have uh, now a, a compass of the uh, gimbal calibration procedure down. So it's time to check now the performances of this machine. Okay, and uh, we check if it's a real or DJI maybe competitor.